not presenting now the blockchain because a lot of, of you will say, um, like uh, the presenter said uh, in the other room, we'll actually have a sneak peek on the um, Web3 native ecosystem that we built uh, inside our browser. Of course, we can have a lot of discussion, but now it's um, part of uh, uh, preparing. Uh, Julian was uh, making a photo um, to create the environment so you can see something you can touch on a website, on a really um, web three native um, ecosystem, let's say like that, from the uh, path, uh, from the domain, from the path to the domain and also for the hosting. When we are speaking about Web3, there are a lot of solutions that uh, present one side of uh, Web3, but uh, the access is by regular, um, let's say, browsers that are still, a lot of them, using Web2 uh, components. Um, they are presenting some of the um, partially decentralized uh, components, like uh, the hosting, it's actually partially uh, decentralized. Uh, we are preparing now to, to show you a full from the domain to the path to the hosting Web3 uh, native, let's say, example. Because it's just an example, we'll start since 1st of December, so in less than, actually in a few days, we'll um, start, let's say, onboarding and uh, public um, giving a lot of the of the information. We are just now trying to get a, a, to get a screen view uh, because it wasn't supposed to be like that. I hope we can uh, we can show it because on tablet to show it like that is too small, so it's not helping us. Uh, yeah, I think the guys will uh, will uh, solve it. So uh, this is what blockchain should mean for a lot of um, people that are out from the blockchain. We need to let them understand how uh, really Web3 can it show actually the same as Web2 and how easy it is to, to pass from Web2 to Web3 and you have all the features that uh, my colleagues present a little earlier. So now, actually, I will try to show, it's a lot difficult, just, do you have a pointer? Yeah. Merci. So, uh, I will try to, to explain it um, and to show it a little with a pointer. So this is actually a first version of sourceless browser. It's a browser that can use the HTTP uh, protocols and also can use different protocols as we are using now. Even now the connection is made up between our two tablets and uh, on our private internet. It's kind of an intranet but it's using a different, you can sh uh, we can show it after, uh, after this short presentation. Uh, actually even the connection between the, the tablets and um, between them two are made to our device that we, we build it in-house. At this moment um, we have here an address in which uh, is just a template but I prefer not to prepare it from time just to make a possible live um, uh, photo at this moment. So you can see it includes also uh, the, uh, the uh, files and the pages that you are used with, but we have there a drive. That drive is something that is different than other uh, browsers. In that drive you can actually host an image on your, uh, an image is just a, an example, but you can host it inside your, and now I see it's, uh, it's actually uploading. Actually the hosting for this image it's actually the tablet itself. So, when you have a DLT as a hosting, then you, you really have 
the power to be also a client or a server. That's actually the ownership and that's actually the part in which we can uh, transform from client to server as um, uh, HTTP work. So client communicate with server, you can turn into each device can be a client and a server. It's actually very similar with the torrents as it was before usable, let's say like this, peer-to-peer, -peer. Uh, but now DLT and blockchain offer us the security that we didn't have in peer-to-peer. Uh, -peer. Of course, it's not just about uh, uh, putting some pictures and making, this is just a uh, live demo how things, um, how easy you can use also Web3 and is not too different than Web2. Also, we have the developer side as it is integrated also with the RSIE, STR talk, which is a decentralized um, communication um, ecosystem. Even uh, Julian, I think he can uh, he can show us a little from STR talk, which we are using also now. Um, of course, it's a page you can create. Uh, you can use it like uh, Julian. Can you please uh, open the cameras? Uh, so you can use it like a Zoom that you are used to it. You can use it uh, uh, microphone, Zoom, sharing files, and all of that. But there is a big exception. The browser is like a placeholder. The full information is hosted only on your device and the other device. At the moment you end the room, everything is just deleted. So it's actually privacy at the maximum you can have. At this moment we didn't uh, have in plan to present it, but I believe it, it's, um, it would be nice so people can, can really touch it and feel it. And of course, like I said, we can discuss a little later about, about them. And of course, we have the other, uh, the other um, um, buttons to our store and so on. So the entire access inside the, the tablets, inside the browser, starting uh, first of December, it will be, um, of course, with our identifier, which is the STR domain. So with that identifier, you can you can have it that you can uh, you can use it like our user actually it's it will be owned by you and of course all the data you want to share public or private for me this was a, a very short presentation that i want to show it a little how it works who is interested uh, or i have questions let's meet in the booth so we can discuss over the technical stuff so uh, if you are curious about other features thank you